hearing aids aren't something we really talk about much anymore. We talk more about amplification or amplification systems. My name is Penny Barron. I am an audiologist with ADC. Technology has changed a lot over the years. When people think about um, hearing aids, they think about what their grandparent had. They think about a big beige banana and they think about their grandparents hearing aids whistling and them always having to mess with them and so they really are very different today. Um, hearing instruments today are really quite hidden. Um, they're not something that is like the big beige banana that your grandparent wore um, and they're much more sophisticated. They're much much they're much less likely to feed back. Um, they're much less likely to um, cause the problems that you heard your parents or grandparents complain about. For example, in background noise, your parents and grandparents were forever saying, oh, I just, I take them off, I just can't hear in that environment. And that's not true of the more sophisticated amplification systems today. Now, that's not to say they're perfect. No amplification system can restore normal hearing. And that's just something that we have to accept. And it's just so much better than without it. And we don't typically recommend that you do amplification unless we really think that you're gonna benefit from it. Most hearing um, systems today are very unobtrusive. Very often they do fit on top of or behind the ear, um, but they have a very thin cord with a piece that comes down into the ear, and it's very tiny. Very often they're soft, and so they can go very um, deep into the ear canal. And so even if you have short hair, um, if you're male, they still aren't real obvious. Some of the most sophisticated ones are really able to personalize the way that you hear, and you can actually make choices, like when you go to the eye doctor and you actually get to make a choice, yeah, do you like one or two better? Mm -hmm. You actually get to listen to some sounds and decide which ones you like to listen to and how you like to listen to them. So there have been huge advances in the way that um, the amplification systems are working and the way that they sound. Many amplification systems today do actually have um, something called a streamer. And the streamer is a device that hangs around your neck and it has a little rectangle, kind of looks like an iPod. And it controls um, the volume on the amplification system. It can also control different programs, but additionally it hooks into Bluetooth technology, which means it can hook into your cell phone. So you can answer your cell phone from up to 35 feet away without ever touching it. All you have to do is touch a button on your streamer and you can hear your cell phone not in one ear, but in both ears. That technology also um, connects into several other things that you can purchase. It can make your home phone Bluetooth compatible you can purchase a device to make your television Bluetooth compatible, your computer sometimes today is Bluetooth compatible, or you can take the streamer and plug it directly into your um, computer or your laptop so that you can hear directly through the streamer still and hear in both ears. There's also a microphone that if you go to lectures, you can actually have the lecturer put that microphone on their lapel. It's very small, it's only about that big, and they can actually put it on and you can go sit anywhere in the room and it's like they're talking this close to your ear. So it's um, really amazing technology that's out there today and it's something that is um, really helping a lot of people who've had difficulties still in some situations really be able to cope well with those situations.